guys, so I'm out here with Beaker now. Beaker is a Garrett Sea Hunter MK2. So I'm going to hunt all this area that I hunted with the MX Sport and see if I can find anything else that was deeper than what the MX Sport can get. So the settings that I'm running, my threshold is at one, elimination zero, and I'm going to be in standard trash elimination. All right, there we go. All right, let's do some detecting. All right, so I got my first target here. Could be a penny. I don't know. this spot with the MX Sport. So that's the first coin that I found um, with my Garrett Sea Hunter MK2 after going over this area with the MX Sport. So obviously that coin was deeper than what the MX Sport can get in the beach mode setting or program. So yeah, all right, I'm gonna keep searching. So I got something else right in here. still in there. So it's right over there. I haven't put my gloves back on yet, I know. after going over this area with the MX Sport. And I don't know, I wanna say it's probably a penny, honestly. Yep, that's it. All right, very nice. So I'm putting all the, po the coins that I find with my Sea Hunter in my big pouch so I can keep it separate to see how much I actually find that the MX Sport could not find. So, yeah. Now I'm just 
just going to try and fill this hole in a little bit. I think I can take some from here. something big right here. I think it's big. Obviously for a dog, that's awfully big. That's much bigger than what I can fit in my pouch. So I'm gonna go put that back on the boat. gets that it's pretty big and I don't know I'm pretty sure I went over this but you know what I bet you that's iron it's iron the MX sport discriminated it out that's why I didn't find it before that makes sense all right so I'm gonna go take this and then I'm gonna come back and keep searching all right so I got a target here Too terribly old because you can still see it a little bit. Yep, it's a penny. I got another target here. It's barely audible. I'd, I'd say that's a ghost whisper, honestly. Yep, there's something there. That was two scoops deep. I'm not surprised the MX Sport couldn't pick that up. That, that I think is deeper than what the MX Sport can pick up. 
even if you're running running it on land so that's not a surprise and that's why I brought Beaker out here today because um, this area is obviously a hot spot for targets or coins at least and I know Beaker can go way deeper than the MX Sport so that's why I brought brought Beaker out here because I wanted to see what else was hiding way deep down <laughs> Yeah, that was it. Alright guys, so here are my finds for today's hunt at the island. So I found a couple of coins. Um, now this was with the MX Sport along with a couple of these. I think this and this here is actually a piece of a knife, um, a butter knife. That and... I think, I don't remember if I found this with it also, but um, these are the coins that I found with the MX Sport. So I've got three quarters, and I believe these are three pennies. Um, and this is a token. It says no cash value. Um, I don't think there's actually any writing on the other side. I'm going to run it through the uh, Sonic Cleaner a little bit and see, but I think it's just an eagle and some stars around the edge but so this is what I found with the MX Sport now I brought Beaker out to the island too because I wanted to get some major depth um, and Beaker is my Garrett Sea Hunter MK2 or Mark II and it's a pulse induction machine so it goes way deeper than um, VLF machines um, so I took Beaker out and that is a little button or whatever. Um, and these are all the coins that I found with Beaker. <laughs> so there's a substantial difference in coins. Um, these were all much deeper than those over there. So over here I found three quarters. I believe these are all nickels. These two are pretty cruddy. But um, five nickels, three dimes, and I believe these are all pennies. The yeah. Um, and then I found the five pennies. So again, these were all much deeper than these coins over here. Um, so I'll be running these through my Sonic Cleaner as well, and try and get some dates off of them. Oh, and I also found this guy right here. <laughs> so this was a dog steak. And I found this with Beaker. Um, and I believe, and it wasn't very deep, it was maybe three inches deep. So the MX Sport definitely saw this, but I believe it um, discriminated it out because um, of where my discrimination settings were set at. So I did not see this with the MX Sport, but um, it's because I discriminated it. So, yeah, so overall it was a great hunt. Um, I'm, I'm glad I took both machines out there just so I could kind of see, you know, um, really I guess how deep the MX Sport can go and it doesn't go that deep com it doesn't go deep compared to the Sea Hunter um, so which I, I fully expected that I already knew that going into it just because it my Sea Hunter's pulse induction so um, I, I was really kinda bummed that I didn't find any jewelry any rings or anything but um yeah and I know in the beginning of the video I had said that I was going to play with the MX Sport without the headphones and in the water, underwater, but the um, the waves were really kind of kicking. They were probably three or, yeah, about three to four foot seas today. Um, so I wasn't able to get underwater and stay underwater without getting pushed all around, so I really wasn't able to test it. But honestly, I found a target in the water. Um, the water was a little bit above waist deep, and the MX Sport was completely underwater. And I couldn't hear it, but I could occasionally feel the vibrations when it was making a sound underwater. But it was just, I couldn't even locate that target. I had to bail on it because the waves were just completely tossing me around. Um, so I didn't get to do that. I'm going to try again. I'll take it out again next weekend and see if I can't. Um, maybe the water's going to be a little bit more cooperative with me and I can test that little aspect. Um... 
what else, what else? Overall, it was a good day. Um, the weather turned out to be nice once the clouds moved away and such. But, yeah. Um, so far, I'm really enjoying the MX Sport, and I hope I answered everybody's questions as far as um, the salt tracking and the pinpointing and everything else that y'all mentioned. Um, if you have another question or if you're curious about something, just go ahead and post it in the comments. I read all of them, and I'll write it down, and I'll address it um, in my next hunt. So, yeah, so all right. Um, again, I got the MX Sport from Kelly Co., and I've included a link down below where you can look specifically at the MX Sport. I've also included a link that takes you to Kelly Co.'s homepage on their website. Um, so, if you're interested in looking at the MX Sport or you just want to do some window shopping, definitely use the links below because it actually um, it tracks the number of people that go to the Kelly Co's website from my YouTube channel. Um, so definitely use that and um, you know the more traffic they get then the more likely um, it is that we'll be able to get some kind of she detector coupon code maybe in the future. <laughs> um, I know a couple of y'all have asked about that so definitely use the link below if you're going to go poke around on Kelly Co's website. And what else? Um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, if you're on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, definitely check me out on there. Just search for me, She Detector, and I should pull up, or you can use the link that I've included below. And if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and put them in the comment section. And other than that, I guess I will see you guys later.